This is going to be a short video that will show you how to create a SQLite database uh, using Qt Creator. Uh, so let's just start a new project and we'll do a console application. And I'm going to put it in my example code, fol code folder and I'll call it DB for database. And you can just choose the default uh, compiler. Finish that. Okay, so first thing, let's add some includes. Let's get Q debug. And then we also need uh, QTSQL. And that's giving me this underlined warning here because I have to do one more thing. I have to come in here to my dot profile and add SQL there. Okay. Um, now let's build just to make sure everything works correctly. We'll save all. Okay, and I successfully built the project. Let's go back to main. You can see this is no longer giving me any kind of error. And what we'll do here is we'll say starting. I'll just say start. And okay. That'll just give us an idea when this thing's running, what's going on. Um, so the first thing I want to do is define a SQL database. I'm just going to call it DB. And then take my database and QSQL database and then I want to add a database and I want it to be a SQLite database and the code for that is QSQLite uh, there are other options you have and you can install whatever you need to, to do this with many different database formats uh, we're just going to do this because it's very simple and I can also do this with uh, with SQLite Manager on uh, on Firefox, so we can view it. So then the next thing I'm going to do, oh, semicolon, is I'm going to do database, and I'm going to set the database name, and this is going to be a file path, and I just have this folder where I put temporary stuff, and. I'm going to name it db.sqlite. Okay? And then the next thing I do is open the database. And so I'm going to do this in an if statement. So I'll get an error if something doesn't go right. And so if not db open. So db open is how you open the base, open the database. And if it's if that fails, I'm going to give myself a debug message saying there's a problem opening the database. Okay, and then we've got end. So what this should do is it should create a database uh, that's completely empty. Uh, and that's all we're trying to do right now. So let's just build this, make sure we're good. Uh, just for those of you who didn't know what I did, Control B uh, will build and control R will run. And so now I'm going to run this. There you go, start, end. That should be good to go. Um, let me pull my folder up here. And you can see here I have a db.sqlite. Uh, now one thing we can do is Firefox has a, an extension, I guess you could call it, called SQLite Manager. And you can open uh, and view SQLite databases here. So I'm going to connect to a database. I'm going to open this. You can see I don't have any tables or anything in there. It's just an empty database. Uh, but that is how you can create a database using Qt. And in another video, we'll go through how to add tables to that database. Uh, thanks for watching.